make of Mike Mayock so far in his tenure with the Raiders? Uh, you know, it's hard to say. It's hard to say what, what level of influence he actually has. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's been talk about uh, him being the more the mid late round guy and uh, the, the kind of fill in the gaps guy. Whereas, you know, Gruden falls in love with these guys at the top of the draft and stuff like that, which is, they've been, they've been the head scratchers. The top of the draft has been the head scratchers, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, man. It's, it's hard. It's, it's almost like, uh, like getting, getting a, a true evaluation of, of Derek Carr. Like you don't know how much control he has. And like you said, Gruden's that control freak, man. He, he's, a, he's the epitome of control freak. And trust is huge with him because it, it, it almost seems like he just couldn't be bothered with anything else. He yeah. wants his offense, and that's it. Just leave me the, leave, leave, leave the offense to me. You take care of the defense. You take care of the scouting. You take care of the special teams. You take care of the free agents. You take care of this. Just leave me to my offense, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And it's like, ah, oh, man, I, I really don't like it. I, I don't like what's happening because, again, if, if you're like the last say, it's, you, you, can go, you, can, you can definitely go in there and just fuck everything up. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, uh, to answer your question – I, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what to say about Mayock because we're never going to hear the truth. Mayock's not the kind of guy who's going to, you know, shit down uh, uh, Gruden's neck and but throw him under the bus uh, and say, oh, well, you know, he undermined me everywhere. We, I mean, maybe fast forward 10 years, you might write a book or something, but um, we just don't know, man. It, it's a lot of these head scratching uh, picks like the, the Cleveland at four, uh, the Arnett, the, the Arnett pick, like, oh man, like the, the, even it, the it, Abram pick, even the Abram pick was a head scratcher. The, the, I don't know. It just feels like there's two different types of picks that the Raiders have done. And one definitely feels like Mayock and one definitely feels like Gruden, like the Gruden grinders, right? Clayton Farrell at fourth overall. And, you know, Jonathan Abram, he's just like, oh, he's a hard nosed guy, even though he just doesn't know how to cover. Like those just feel like John Gruden. Whereas the Mayock ones, like Max Crosby kind of feels like Mayock, like those mid round guys that, you know, maybe slip through the fingers of, uh, you know, of some other teams and some other scouts. He seems to, you know, kind of have his finger on the pulse of those guys and and is able to figure them out. So I I don't, I don't have like a, like a source or like data to like prove this just personality wise, certain dudes feel like Mayock, like the mid round guys that overperform. And then the reaches and then just the guys that like look like they're like scratch and sniff from a John Gruden comic book. Like, oh, yeah, that's yeah. a Gruden grinder. That just smells like a Gruden guy. Can we get like some of this flashiness on the defense, please? Like, why do we have, nice. to have all the flashiness on the offense? Why can't we have it a little bit on the defense? Well, it's look, just- I, I, the, I, the only good thing, like the silver lining of the Raiders having such a terrible defense last season is that maybe this will finally wake Gruden up. Right, two thirds of the salary cap was spent on the offense, and that's because it's Gruden's baby. He has an expensive line. He has a franchise quarterback, and um, you know, most expensive backup quarterback ever. Uh, a third string tight end that's getting four million dollars. Like um, these are all like you know, Gruden just gets just gets money happy. And just like he can't help himself. But because the defense was so bad, not just last season, but the last you know tenure of you know. Uh, John Gruden's second tenure with the Raiders, maybe this will finally wake him up and say, okay, instead of giving like, myself like a third tight end or, you know, the next most expensive tackle that's an open in free agency, let's get a good free safety. Let's get some edge rushers. Let's spend some draft capital on the defense that definitely needs it. For sure, man. It's just, but who's to say, who's mm-hmm. to say he's, 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 He's going to do whatever the fuck he wants to do. He went over, he went to the Buccaneers and he had it made. He had a fucking ready-made team. He went in there and he just didn't fuck it up. And then every year after that, he guess what? He fucked it up a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Who's to say he's fucking, he's, he's, he's uh, learned his lesson. I don't know. It it doesn't seem like it because this, the, the mistake he made, not, not only, with 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 hiring Paul Gunther in the first place, but bringing him back for that third year, bringing him back that last year, that mistake right there, that's not a second time around head coaching mistake that you yeah. make. 
that's not your third stop. I mean, we're going to call it the third stop because it's the third team he's coached, but that's not a third stop mistake that you make. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a rookie coach who maybe the defensive coordinator is, you know, he's got a little bit more experience than him and he doesn't want to fire him and this and that or whatever. He got snowed by some bullshit. That, that's not a mistake that a John Gruden makes. That a, someone who was held up to a John Gruden standard, you don't make that kind of fucking mistake, number one. Number two, you spend that little on this young of a defense. You have this young of a defense and you p- pretty much spend nothing, yeah, hardly anything, and you don't fill what you need. It's who's evaluating these players or, and, and if they are, are you not listening to them? And it's like, when is it going to change? I don't know, but it doesn't seem like he's learning. Well, look, I mean, they spent on defense, right? I mean, they couple, you know, a couple linebackers, a couple edge rushers, like, you know, they, they, they spent the last two seasons. They just whiffed terribly. That's the problem. Um, and so that's why I think what, you know, Listening to Mike Mayock is going to be big this offseason because as much as Gruden obviously rules the Raiders with an iron fist, I think Mayock has his ear. And now maybe because the defense has been so terrible, maybe he'll listen a little bit more. Hopefully this will be a look in the mirror time for John Gruden because listening to Mike Mayock, he definitely sounds like he's looked himself in the mirror a little bit. Now, 